how vaccines really work and why they don't. Today's epidemiology pretends that they ha hail from the days of Louis Pasteur, Madame Curie, etc. They pretend that vaccines of today are formulated in the same exact way that they were 100 years ago. The fact is, today's vaccines have no resemblance to vaccines of old. Now, not that there's anything in the news about vaccines, except for in connection to Ebola, and that's why I'm making this video. They're trying to push forward a brand new Ebola vaccine. The truth of the matter, of the matter is, I've already reported that the quote-unquote vaccine was the same exact thing that the Red Cross took to Africa and infected all of those people with Ebola. Ebola is not an African disease. It doesn't come from the Ebo tribe. It doesn't come from the Ebo River. If you read that somewhere, that is somebody pretending that they know something that they don't or they are on purpose trying to mislead you because Americans are so stupid and know nothing about Africa. People can say stuff about Africa and Americans will just fall for it. You don't want to know anything about Africa. I already know. You don't care. I already know. I, and I don't care that you don't care. So don't think I'm hurt by it or anything like that. Now, let's continue. I'm going to explain to you how this works in real life versus what we have theoretical that you see on TV and in movies and what have you. When the population finds this out, that vaccines are not the same thing as they were 100 years ago, there is backlash. When actually new diseases are introduced into the population by these shots, a tremendous backlash occurs. I have reported that judges around the world have listened and found in favor of the plaintiffs when suing over these diseases and deaths stemming from these shots. Of course, trillions of dollars are at stake, so these big firms get Hollywood and the federal government in on the spinning of the information or getting the news to not report it at all. I want to shed some light on what is really going on and why condescending actors are being used to call mothers and fathers around the country idiots, pretending that vaccines are great when in fact the shots are not vaccines at all. I'm going to repeat that the shots that people are being given are not vaccines whatsoever. They have no resemblance to vaccines. They have nothing in common with vaccines of old, okay? Number one, herd immunity. I'm going to go over this really briefly. Herd immunity means that if an outbreak occurs and anywhere from 10% to 60% of the population is naturally immune, that is a key word, naturally then the disease will terminate. And even those that are not immune will not get sick. They've already done tremendous amounts of papers just on that concept of loan. It's called herd immunity. And it's based on people inside of the herd being naturally immune from the disease. This means that there is no need for 100% of the population to be immunized for any disease, no matter how deadly, how dreadful, nor lethal. What's the problem? Big Pharma has nearly killed off all naturally uh, immune people and steadily works to squeeze it out of the population. Through aggressive vaccination laws and regulations, those that would be naturally immune through, uh, pay attention women, breastfeeding or living with naturally immune parents never develop it because they are forced to take these shots. These shots are not immunization. They are man-made materials. Unnatural. Number two, because there is no natural immunity in the population, Big Pharma pushes for 100% shots, hoping there will be no outbreak. Furthermore, and in fact, on a lot of the shots there that they are coming out with now, they are requiring you to sign a release form that says if you are harmed or die in any way from the shots that you cannot sue them criminally nor in civil court. What does that tell you right there? Would you sign such an agreement and would you take the shot 
Furthermore, they had to develop booster shots to try and keep these man-made materials active in the body because natural immunity is rapidly leaving, most vaccines will need to be boosted yearly so that in about 60 years, everyone will need to redo their quote unquote vaccines each and every year, which means quadrillions of dollars yearly for pharmaceutical companies. Let me give you some, just two paragraphs directly from the sources of the doctors talking about this. When immunity was derived from natural infection, a small, a much smaller proportion of the population needed to become immune to show the herd effect. Compare the 68% measles immunity required for natural herd immunity to the very high percentage of vaccine uptake deemed necessary for measles vaccine herd immunity. In his vaccine safety manual, Neil Z. Miller cites research which concludes increasing vaccine uptake necessary for herd immunity ranging from 70 to 80 percent of two-year-olds in inner cities in 91 to close to 100 percent coverage with a vaccine that is only 90 to 98 percent effective in 1997. Miller notes that when the measles vaccines was introduced in 1963, officials were confident that they could eradicate the disease by 1967. It has yet to be eradicated. Here's another quote. Vaccines herd immunity is hit in midst. Outbreaks of disease sometimes erupt in those who follow recommended vaccine schedules. If they do actually immunize, vaccines provide only short-term immunity. So, in an attempt to maintain herd immunity, health authorities hold cattle drives to round up older members of the herd for administration of booster shots. And on it goes, to the point that now it is recommended we accept cradle-to-grave shots of vaccines against pertussis, a disease which still persists after more than 60 years of widespread use of vaccines. Today, pharmaceutical companies pretend that they have vaccines when, in fact, they have untested, new, mad-made materials they are calling vaccines. The takeaway is both that the materials are untested and that they are artificial materials. You are not getting anything natural. You notice in the fight against the whole Ebola or whatever, they didn't take a vaccine what they did was take the blood from somebody who had Ebola and became naturally immune to it, and they stuck it into the next person who had compatible blood. And that's how they cured those people of Ebola. What does that tell you right there? That should tell you that none of these artificial things that we're going to get shots by are how immunization really works. They are making millions, billions, trillions, and pretty soon they will be making quadrillions because you're going to have to take these shots from the day you are born to the day you die. And that's going to mean money out of your pocket. This is coming. They are testing this with Ebola. They're hoping that you're going to get so afraid that you will accept getting quote unquote vaccine shots all of your life. And they will not work. You heard the doctor say that this is not even 100% effective. Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show.